Jeremy Medeiros uh, speaking from Nonsuch Oil in Bermuda on I think it's the 25th of May uh, 2018. Beautiful day, hot, uh, light winds and such. Um, it's a little bit of a, a sort of bittersweet moment because this might be the last um, weight and growth check that we do for Sunny uh, uh, 2018 Pahal Tan check. Uh, he's been developing much quicker than normal and uh, you know, it looks like he may be fledging in the next couple of nights, next two or three nights. He's been uh, just taking out an amazing amount of down every single night. Uh, so it'll be very interesting to see, um, you know, at what stage he is. Uh, generally, they go out to see once the wind is about 265 to within 75 millimeters. So we'll take a quick look, uh, see how he's doing, and, uh, and uh, you know, it's, it's worth saying that this is, you know, Although we'll be sorry to see Sunny go, it's a culmination of a very successful conservation um, effort uh, that's been going on really since uh, the species was rediscovered in 1951 and then kept um, managed by Dr. David Wingate uh, from 1960 right through until his retirement in 2000. And this would not have been possible without him. He really did help to save the species from becoming extinct there. And uh, we've just been trying to follow on from that work. And uh, what we're seeing is just an explosion in the number of breeding pairs and the number of fledged chicks this year, uh, record numbers in both places. Okay, so with that, we're going to put in there. And yep, he is very conveniently, <laughs> very noisily, right under the nest chamber. And okay, one thing I've been noticing about Sonny is that he's getting noisier and noisier. He talks a lot. He's a very, very vocal chick. Some of the chicks are very quiet. They don't make much noise. Uh, but one thing you've really been noticing is that he is quite a talkative little fellow. And you can also see he has been very busy um, preening all of that remaining natal down off of his body. And you can see his bill is absolutely stuck with it. And if you've been watching the Kahal Cam at night, he spends most of his time in the nest chamber just busily pulling it out, you know, uh, preening all of his nest feathers. He's oiling it from the oil gland near the top of his tail and uh, pulling out the old down and then oiling up the new feathers so that they're waterproof and they're, they're nice and healthy and ready for him to go out to sea, which, which will be happening very quick. Now he has changed incredibly just in the last two or three days since his last check. Um, at that point, he was almost completely down, covered from top. He's now almost totally down free. He just seems to have down on the back of his head, his flanks, and his belly. And the rest of him is, is pretty well uh, down free. So I'm just going to get right into it. I'm going to put him in the old familiar weighing bag and see what his weight is. He was... Um, given a feed and visit by the female bird uh, two nights ago. I don't know if he was fed last night I, because my um, phone was out of operation then so I couldn't follow it. Uh, but I would say he probably wasn't fed last night. Uh, the weight, despite ongoing feeding, is slowly coming down uh, towards the departure weight. He is still though, let's see, 351. So 331, 329 grams, so he is losing weight now. When he's ready to go, it almost doesn't matter how much the parent feeds him, he's going to be so busy exercising and preening, and in fact on the ground here, around the nest, there's balls of fur, which probably has come from him when he's out at night exercising. He's been exercising outside of the burrow at night for at least uh, three or four nights, maybe five nights already, and that's again very early. So 329 grams, now his wing cord, this is the thing that's really going to be telling. It was, I believe, 248, well, it is now 257, 257 millimeters. So that's, wow. So it's grown almost two centimeters in three nights, his, each wing tip. Um, he is now at the lower end of the scale at which some chicks fly out to sea. He's still a little heavy, so my guess is he won't leave tonight, uh, but it's very possible he could leave as early as tomorrow night, or he might wait, he might exercise a bit more and wait another maybe three or four nights. But my guess is it's going to be in the next uh, two to three nights that he's going to be going. So this might well be his last uh, 
health check and weight check. Okay, so I'm going to just turn him around. Of course, I am going to check. He does have his band already. He's been banded quite some time back. Um, and his band number is E0618, the E0618. Okay. So we'll have to remember that number for years to come. I'm going to turn him around so that I can get his bill. <laughs> he knows what's coming too. He's not exactly cooperating. Um, yes, I know, I know. It's sort of like asking an unruly teenager to clean up their room. They're really not cooperative on that at all. I'll pull a little bit of this down out of the beak. See, there's so much of it coming off. This is just the down he had stuck in his beak. So, okay. There we go. Okay, so 29. 0.8 millimeters, yep. So it seems to have slowed down 29.8. So he'll prob that's probably about as long as he's still going to get. And it's firmly in in the um, range of being a male bird. So we've, we've suspected that for quite some time. This basically just confirms it that Sonny is in fact an, another male bird. And we're just going to take a look at his plumage now for the accessories to see that how long his wings are. They really have developed beautifully. Not fully developed yet though. So I think he's still got a few. He's got face, wings, tail, shoulder, rump, and now chest. The chest is also just about down free. He's still got a little bit of down up here. And yep, yep, it is in fact. Good. So Sonny looks in great condition. Uh, I'm not going to keep him out too long because it's fairly hot out here today on Nonsuch Island. Uh, but I suspect that probably in the next uh, in the next two to three nights uh, that it's very possible that uh, Sonny may, may be leaving us. Uh, certainly within about four to five nights he'll be gone for sure. But it might be as early as two to three nights. So uh, Maybe for the last time. Maybe we'll have one more of these if we're lucky. But uh, if not, well, for the last time, it's Jeremy Medeiros and Sonny and JP Rouge behind the camera um, saying goodbye from Nonsuch Island, Bermuda. And everybody have a great afternoon and uh, have a good day. All right, let's get them back. That's way too bright for him. <laughs> It is always a bittersweet moment when you start seeing these chicks you've been taking care of and the monitoring for the last three months and then you see them start to head out to the open ocean that is their true habitat that's where they live for most of their life uh, but these are such um, superbly adapted birds that um, you know they've got a very good chance of making it coming back uh, choosing a nest and a partner and then living for the next 30 or 40 years if not more um, and it's a very uh, sort of encouraging success story because this is a species that was thought to be extinct for almost 400 years. It was rediscovered uh, in the 1950s and uh, since then it's not only come back but it's almost become a symbol of uh, you know, hope for environment for endangered species worldwide. So it's just a real privilege to, to be working with this project and to see the success that Bermuda's endangered natural bird is, success, is successfully, you know, undergoing right now. So, uh, you know, hopefully we'll be back uh, next year at this time, and hopefully we'll have one more health check, but if not, uh, everybody, you know, all the best to so Take care.
give you all the links.